Hey folks, how are you doing? Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but we've got the lawnmower out there. The guy is cutting away and he must be lowering the, the mower really, really seriously because all of my handiwork there made that grass low. And I mean, it's, it's weed grass, so it grows in tufts. Um, and they stick up about that much anyway. The tufts stick up about that much, like, like my finger, like that much. And then the, the tufts start growing out. So I have a feeling he might be scalping it. I cut it down to those tufts. So he may be even scalping it even a little bit more, which I hope he's doing. Because we got rain uh, here last uh, couple of days. Uh, nothing too, too terrible. But um, it'll make the, this grass come up. So he just cut everything. Like everything out to there. And uh, I guess he's working now on this. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's still got to cut some, so I can't really throw my discs. So what we can do is, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the discs that I got in the mail, and then in about uh, 45 minutes we'll come back, and then I will throw my discs for you, and uh, uh, we'll get to a review of these discs. And, you know, I got a couple. I'll show them to you now uh, just to do an unboxing. But uh, the wind right now is incredible. It must be around 23 miles an hour. Uh, this bullshit fucking Google is going to tell me that it's like 13 miles an hour. Wrong. Um, let me go to Google. Current wind conditions in Pembroke Pines, Florida. The wind speed in Pembroke Pines is now 20 miles per hour. From right. So it's 20 miles an hour. And it's more than that. It's like 28, 27, 31, like that. The winds are very, very strong today. And they were yesterday, driving me crazy with this camera. Okay, now, I've got the box open. And I am going to uh, show you my discs that I got. And, uh, yes, I did. Uh, what I did was I ordered, at least, I think I ordered like 10 or 11 discs. And when you order 10... You get a discount. You get the you, you get a full discount. So the discs that are six dollars, like the leopards, like the katanas, and not all of them, by the way, not all of them, and not every weight class. It's whatever they have available there in a factory second. So if if you are buying those, they go from from six dollars to four dollars and eighty cents, which is a good deal, folks. You can't get into this game without paying 15, 16, 17 dollars a disc. And I just did it with that um, that nerd stupid disc brought to us by our fucking idiotic illiterate friends from New Zealand, okay? So let me show you what we got. I did buy the last six because they had six remaining of the factory second katanas, okay? So we've got this, and I'm not sure that's what this is. I think it is. I've got to find out whether this is or not. We're going to open this up. We've got this beautiful yellow one. It is a, uh, I mean, shit, I don't even know here. I can't even read this with my glasses. It's it's uh, so difficult to read. Uh, usually the katanas are easy to read. All right, we have a 163 whatever this is you can see it has a very thick rim it is a distance driver we have another 163 and um, again not telling us what it is so we've got two 163s uh, we got a 161 here which I already have I have a 161 and I'm looking to see if I can find if there's six of them I know that I ordered the last six katanas unless they were apes let me see Oh, this is a Colossus. I see this now. Okay, so this is a Colossus, and it is a 161. So this is a Colossus, and these may also be. Uh, let me look. Um, they're very difficult to see with their stamp. Uh, it looks to me it is a Colossus. All right, so we've got a pair of 163 Colossuses. We've got a 161 Colossus, a 167 Ape. This is an Ape. Uh, we've got a 169 
looks like an ape to me. Uh, ape, 169 ape in white. We've got a 168 ape in white. Uh, we're going to try to get the apes back in the game because it just seems like um, I can't get it together with them and I don't know what it is. We've got another 169 ape. That's what it must have been. I, I must have bought the last six apes and they were all 165 to 169s. That must have been what I did because these are only $4.80 like this. 166 ape. So indeed I did. I bought all of the 165 to 169 class apes. All right. He's done with that, so I guess we can throw. Uh, we've got a 160. Uh, what is this? It's another ape. It must be a 168. It's very poorly uh, drawn on there. 168. Uh, we've got a 158 Pro. What in the world is this? It is a Pro. God, it's really hard. I can look at the label. I'll have to figure that out. Oh, man. 173. How in the world did I get this? It's an Excalibur. Oh, I bought one. I don't like big heavy discs like 173. But this is supposed to be very good in the wind. The Excalibur is supposed to cut through the wind. That's why I bought it. All right. So I know that that's really, really a tank. Uh, believe me. Okay. This is a one of, it looks like a 157 Invictus. Another one that's supposed to be good in the wind. And that's it. So let's see what we got here on the label. And as usual, in about, oh no, they didn't jip me out of my, uh, uh, little uh, label of Innova here. So we'll put that back in. And I will look to see what this is uh, to be sure. Okay. Um, the Invictus is uh, there's one of them. It's a 156 to 159 gram. So this is a 157 Invictus. And uh, the Champion Colossus and these are in Champion Plastic by the way according to what I'm looking here. <laughs> Champion Colossus Factory Second, 160 to 164. There's supposed to be three. So that must be the 163s and the 161, I guess. So those are the Colossus in, champ in, in Champion Plastic. There is an Echo Star Excalibur, 173 to 175. I certainly am happy that they gave me a 173. For God's sakes, 175, I can't even fucking... I mean, it gives you a hernia. This is bad enough. And then there's a 168-something here. I don't know what the hell this is. I can't read it. So it's in the 158 class. So it must be... Uh, oh, it's a Pro... This is a Pro Katana. Is that what this is? A Pro Katana? Did I do that? Um, yes, it is. I can barely read it. It's a Pro Katana... 158 and we'll see how this flies so we've got uh one champion uh, plastic invictus in a 156 to 159 i didn't see that uh oh, what was it an invictus is that what it is it, it's in a 156 to 159 but i but i thought the invictus was a 160 something it's a 173 Point five or whatever the hell it is. So did I get this Invictus? So did I get this also in a 170? Let's see. Uh, DX Ape. I got six of those. I showed you 165 to 169. The Pro Katana 156 to 159. So that's what this is right here. It's 150. Damn, that wind is just fun. Incredible, folks. It is incredible. Uh, okay, so this Katana right here, it's exactly what this is. It is a Katana and it is a 158. So that was the Pro Katana. Echo Star Caliber, Excalibur, Factory Second, Weight 173 to 175. That's this one. That's 173 5. 
we'll weigh it. I've got my scale, if I can find it here. Um, it's probably in this desk here. Um, it's, they're heavy, just trust me. Um, okay, so the Excalibur 173 or 175, we'd have to weigh it to really get the exact weight. Um, okay, Champion Colossus 164, 160 to 164, I ordered three of those. So those are Colossus in a Champion plastic, so those shouldn't be hard to find, right? Okay, so that's this one, 163 Colossus, right? Uh, yeah, a Champion Colossus, okay? Uh, so there's a 163, here's another 163, and here's a 161. So I like that, because I don't want to go too high up. I don't really want to go too, too high up on the weight, because these things are really heavy to throw. But they may have chipped me out of one, because I'm looking at this now, and it's saying that there's a Echo Star Excalibur. No, that one is 173 to 175. Uh, so, wait, I'm, I'm all confused. A Champion Invictus. 156 to 159. And the Invictus... Oh, Excalibur and Invictus. I'm confusing the two. Um, let me see if that's Champion Plastic. Okay, Invictus... There's only one in 156 to 159, and it's Champion Plastic. So it'll be the other Champion Plastic. It's got to be this one. This is a 157. It's an Invictus. Okay. So there you have it. And then the Excalibur is that 173 to 175, which is this heavy bastard. So now we've got the perfect conditions for those. And I bought six of the apes. I bought six apes. And one Pro Katana, which is a 158. So, okay, he's done with this, uh, he's done here. So let's go ahead and throw these discs, okay? We'll go ahead and throw the discs. The winds are absolutely fucking off the charts, folks. The winds are absolutely fucking off the charts. It's just impossible to keep this camera up now. I'm going to have to, um, I don't know what I'm going to have to do. I don't have anything really good here to block the wind, but I'll try to use my sleeping bag arrangement here. Uh, but you see what's happening, just making life fucking miserable, of course. But we'll try it like that. Hopefully you can see this fucking thing. The sleeping bag is rolling all over the place. I'm just trying to use it as a wind block, frankly. And we'll put my soda here, which is going to fucking block the camera, of course. Okay, we'll do that. It'll have to block it a little bit because this fucker wants to fucking go down. Okay, here we go. What are we going to throw first? Let's start with these Colossus. I think that the Colossus is supposed to be good in the wind as well. I don't know that. They might turn over pretty good. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'm sorry this is taking so long, but the winds are so severe that I, it's like, it's hard to explain to you what in the hell is going on here. This fucking sleeping bag is making no fucking difference at all. Just banging into shit. So I'm putting my other tablet here in hopes that this thing will steady it. So it looks like it has. So I'm going to have to throw right over there. Now, in case you folks didn't know, I was able to embank one disc, and that was, I think it was a turn. It was the turn, wasn't it? I think it was, I forgot which one it was, but it was a turn. I'm almost under this fucking shit. It's unbelievable, folks. It's fucking unbelievable. The winds today are completely fucking off the charts just completely off the charts this will be absolutely record territory for all this goddamn bullshit and it's like between the the cover and the fucking charging thing that i got on here so i don't lose it everything is fucking fucked up all right let's go ahead i'll bring this camera a little bit more this way because um i don't think i'm going to be throwing exactly where that camera is pointing i guess that's 
that's all right. Uh, we're going to get it toward that uh, that little bush there, that round bush. That's going to be dead center. So I'm just going to go ahead and start airing it out, folks. Okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. And let me get this change out of my pocket. Uh, I hate having change on me uh, when I'm throwing because it just puts a lot of weight uh, you know, on my lower body. So let's get rid of that. And um, I got a couple more uh, pieces of change here, and then we're ready to go. Okay, so here we go. All right, folks, here we go. The winds are off the charts. That's about 30, 32, 33 miles an hour uh, winds that you're seeing right now. So you're going to get a really good test of every disc in crosswinds moving from my left to the right in case the screen is reversed I am a right-hander and it should be showing you as such otherwise it's reversed sometimes that happens all right here we go let's see what happens maybe I can get a roller now that uh, that's really a cut low maybe I can get a, a roller who the hell knows okay here we go the wind right now about 31 miles an hour that would be my guess. Here we go. I'm going to loosen up a little bit. And then we are going to get into it. Um, throwing these new set of discs. Uh, mostly in the 160s and some high 150s. Uh, with uh, severe winds. Uh, I'm sure they've played, uh, you know, uh, tournaments uh, and championships with these high winds. Now the wind is down to about 14, 15 miles an hour. Uh, 12 and it's just gonna gust back and forth here we go uh, 163 uh, this is a Colossus here we go uh, 163 Colossus sorry folks here we go RPM disc that I got and I have it and I'm going to throw it so let's get it out and we will add that to our festivities uh, sorry folks I'm going to run over my sleeping bag because I'll forget it's there so I got to get that here okay and as you can see we got this turkey here and uh, this is that what was it a 166 it's saying well no it's a 164 it feels heavier this is that turkey. We're going to throw it right now, okay? This is that RPM uh, uh, of Kotex or whatever the fuck this stupid thing is. Kotair uh, with the bird on it. Let's see if we can't get something going with this. Uh, I, I threw it exactly in that area. I just threw the other one five times. So, And the winds weren't as bad. Here we go. Uh, Kotair or whatever the fuck this thing is. But he's fucking dumb fucking... Retards over there in fucking New Zealand. Sorry. Here we go. My attitude may change if this fucker goes up on the embankment or close to it. Fuck, man. Slid off to the left. And I couldn't really stop it. Man, I gotta... I gotta throw that one again. Because... You got to come really, really seriously over to the right. And I mean, and you also have to anise her too. Because this thing wants to just break left. Okay. And that's about right where the other one was. It's not out of the shadow of the hill. 163 Colossus. Yes, it's a little heavy. Here we go. it's lost in the shadow okay here's the 161 I've got to Anheuser these and I do not like to do that but I've got to because they're not they're just not doing what they're supposed to do they're just not doing it so here we go 161 I'm gonna have to get these to, uh, to Anheuser here we go we are gonna throw a few sets of these today okay I've only got like uh, 14 discs 
tried, it's still breaking left. And that one maybe is a little bit more out there. Not much. But even though the wind is coming this way, uh, this way it's wanting to go back that other way with the fade, with the, with the, the with, you know, when I throw it. It's just going immediately to that. Okay, we got the 158 Pro Katana. This is a Pro Katana. It's 158. I got a good feeling about this. Let's get on this. And let's see, this is the lightest of the bunch today, I think. So let's see if we can't get something going here. This one probably should be hyzer to the left because it'll fall out to the right uh, with an over torque. Anyways, I'll have to play it by ear today. This is going to be really hard today. Wind's about 21 right now. Uh, 23. Here we go. like a plate and then it came back up and it hovered about evidently about one inch over the ground and kind of got about another two and a half three meters four meters so I just it was kind of comical okay we've got a uh, this I think is the Invictus what is this this is an ape it's a 168 ape so we'll throw this I have a feeling this will wash right out so let's see, uh, this is the uh, uh, Invictus, didn't I just say that? No, it's an ape. It's a 160, it feels like a, this doesn't, this has got real sloppy riding on it. I don't know when the hell, it feels lighter than a 168. This is a one, it, it almost looks like a 138. What is this? One. 38 this feels like a light disc ape did they screw up and they thought this was a, a six and they sent me a 138 i'll have to weigh this i'll weigh this before i leave the video if i'm i, I know my my scale is in there all right so i think this is a 138 eight three bizarre this is an ape it's probably gonna wash right out here we go. Yeah, see it wash out, but it might roll, but the wind is taking it too far to the right and turning it to the right. So and that one washed right out. That must be a very light disc. Um, I wasn't supposed to have that one unless, unless they sent that to me as a freebie, and I don't think so. Uh, this is a 166 ape. Um, let me double check that. I think it's a 166 ape. It is a 166 ape. Let's see if the apes can get in the game. Let's see. 166 ape. Ugh, fucking everything is going off everywhere. It's just impossible. So the wind's around 25 miles an hour, 24 miles an hour right now. Maybe 23, 22. Here we go. Ape, 166. Oh, that's a pretty good throw. I bet the wind is crushing it. And it's uh, swinging along. And it's about, it looks like about 20 feet behind the yellow one that I threw that uh, settled down like a platter and then just kind of hovered along like a hovercraft. That's why I was laughing. Uh, before and it went like 20 feet like that okay here's that 173 roughly 173 Excalibur I guess this is the one you want to use in the wind so for those of you uh, that are wanting to see it here it is Excalibur uh, 173 or 174 here we go Skittle along there, skipping to the left, 
uh, probably second place. The, the yellow disc that hovered and turned into a hovercraft, that made it pretty, pretty far. In fact, I'm looking at it's like 40 feet from the embankment, which is, for these wind conditions, that's notable. Okay, 167, I'm sure this is an ape. Let me make sure because I want to, I really am trying to figure out what these are. It is an ape. It's an ape. Ape. 167. Here we go. just barely took second place it is behind by about 15 feet or 13 feet uh, behind that yellow one so we've got now a pecking order uh, a first second and third okay this is a 169 ape uh, it's the heaviest of the bunch let's see what it can get done uh, you can't really see it probably too well but these discs are being absolutely pummeled by the wind. So if they go up a little bit, they're slammed down violently. And don't forget, these are mostly 160 and plus class, so they're very vulnerable to these winds. I don't think it's going to help them very much today. 169.8. Let's see if it can pull off the miracle victory. Here we go. to the right but I threw it high under normal conditions that thing might have gone a ways but the wind pummeled it it looks like it's although about 200 feet to the right it looks like it's in very close proximity distance wise with another disc running at around maybe third place okay we've got the champion plastic here and then I have my beloved turn and my uh, also my lovely uh, and it's going to wrap up the series here and then we'll put it on and then we'll go take a look at the discs all right so this is a 157 invictus hey let's see what the invictus can do shall we i don't know anything about the invictus never threw one here we go wouldn't it be tits if we could get this thing fucking in the first place uh, seriously here we go 150 Seven Invictus. We got 23, 24 mile an hour winds right now, and away we go. Oh, and it's right there with the yellow one at last place. So we're down to two discs. Um, and I'm going to have to get these over to the right more. It's just real simple. Any hyzer right now just gets fucking crushed. Okay, this is my beloved 150, which I found on the embankment two days ago. And I give myself a lot of credit for that. What a fucking bomb throw that was. And appreciated, and appreciate the people over at Innova, thank you. Instead of these dumb fucking retard, illiterate fucking idiots over at fucking New Zealand. Now we've got about 30 mile an hour winds. Here we go. 150. Uh... Pro turn. This is the one that went on the embankment. Don't look for it today. These fucking winds are like 30 miles an hour. It's unbelievable. Here we go. Pro turn. 150. It's gone away. Whoa, it's out there. And it's challenging the long disc, which is the yellow disc. It may have been the first one I threw. Oh, and we've got two apes here on the ground, which I didn't see, which we will throw after my beloved 166. I think this is a katana. Christ, my, everything is fucking falling over, folks. You just can't believe the wind. You just can't believe it. It is bad. These might be 35, 36 mile an hour winds. Katana 166. Let's go ahead and give it a whirl. My glasses are just fucking content to fall down. 166 Katana. Whoa, that thing's fucking way, way up there. I still know it's fucking crushed. It just fucking crushed. I mean, that thing's way, way up there. And 
it just wouldn't go anywhere. It just fucking brought it down. All right, folks. We got one more ape after this. Obviously, this is an ape. 168. Uh, this is an ape, I'm sure. Here we go. 168 ape. Uh, the 168 there it may be on top it is 220 230 feet to the right but it may have gotten deep enough it may be by that sewer it's not that deep but it may be just deep enough to beat that yellow disc here's a 169 ape and this is the last one here we go I really want to get these apes in first place I do I love the ape I started with it I got good with the ape it's probably the first disc that I threw I have it on my videos you know I would go and then I'd say this one took the lead it's further than any other one but I was throwing like 240 feet 245 feet that's all you know so I kept you know beating it with a shrike and then this other one and then the ape and then this and that Katana, Katana's never really did it I don't think uh, and I don't think I had turns back then. If I did, I would have started getting a lot more yardage there. 169, last disc. Here we go. Wind's around 22 right now, I'd say. Here we go. Pretty good throw. It's heading just right. Oh, it's staying up. It's trying to stay up. Uh, folks, it's very, very close to the embankment. Uh, all And yes, it uh, skipped. A little bit. I can't see it, Skip. I didn't see it. Maybe it landed without a bounce. Let's take a look at the field. Both figuratively and uh, literally. <laughs> okay, he didn't cut it that low. He didn't cut it that low because I can see where I cut and it was lower than where he cut. Christ, he didn't cut this short at all. Okay, you can see that one I just threw. That one. Oh, we got an embankment job, I think. Uh, that, yeah. Okay, so we got another embankment job. And it looks like the ape is going to join the club, folks. The ape is going to join the club. Uh, congratulations to the ape, Innova. Uh, you guys are not exactly dickheads for not uh, replacing my disc that you sent me with a flat tire. Uh, top, but uh, what's his name there? Uh, Lance Link or whatever his name is there. He got it all straightened out for me. All right, so we got another embankment job. That must have been the last throw I made. If it's a 169, it is. Okay, this is going to take that disc right there. I threw that motherfucker all the way up, probably 350 feet in the air. It went way, way up. And I mean, it just fucking crashed. Oh, they didn't even cut this. Fucking asshole. He didn't even cut this. He cut over there. Dude, come on now. All right, well, fuck, man. He should have cut this. This is already growing. So that thing got crushed, okay? We've got one, two, three, four discs over here. Uh, the pack, I guess you could call it. And then, this must have been like one of the first discs I threw. This must have been that. Oh, yeah, and I'm getting the fucking camera in the way. Because you fucking assholes over there. Fucking, uh, this, this stupid ass company that makes this thing with the camera that gets covered by your finger. You bastards. All right. Sorry, folks. I know I covered the camera, but I recovered. Having to think, outthink the manufacturer of the stupid goddamn tablet. Okay, so the Excalibur, uh, it's about 40 feet from the pole. So this is coming in at around 290. Uh, the Excalibur had a flight of around 290 feet. This is exactly at the pole. It's just slightly, uh, it's around maybe 12 to 15 feet. It's not even that much. Here's the pole right here. So 
three meters. So uh, let's look at the uh, batting order here. Okay, and this was a this was my beloved 150 turn going around 325 feet. Uh, the pink one, uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe 330. Okay, we got the orange one. That's going to be even further around three, around 335 exactly, because it looks like it's right at the tree here and the pole on the other side. Boy, I'm glad I recovered from that stupid thumb thing. All right, it's right there. It's maybe a meter back from the pole, so we're gonna call it 332. I think that's safe to say. 332 to 334. And then now, it's very easy to see first, second, and third place. Here we go. Uh, let's go. Let's start with third place. It's going to be this disc right here. This looks like one of the last discs I threw. This is probably my beloved 166 Katana, which always smells out the top three and tries to... Oh, no. Yes, this is the 158 Pro Katana. And it's come in at around 352 feet. I think that's a very close estimate. 352. And now we've got the big guns. And folks, guess who they are? Can you say ape? Well, the apes have run first and second place. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. We got a blue one over here too. Oh, this was very close. And I already picked up the disc. I already picked up the disc. So let's see. I didn't see this one. But this is that one that I knew got over but that got out pretty deep. This one's a little further. I'm gonna say this is a 350 foot throw. 345 to 350 foot throw. Certainly, certainly 350. So this is not going to be the third place winner, I don't think. Oh, it isn't, because this one's further. This one is definitely further. But this is going to get honorable mention in this win. The 158 Pro Katana gets honorable mention for uh, getting a little bit past that pole. But third place is going to go to the, the 138. This is the one that rolled. Are you kidding me? We're going to have to watch the tape. We're going to have to watch the video. How in, I threw this in it and it started to roll and I said it rolled out. Wasn't that the one? Or is it that one over there, the yellow one? No, it was this one. I remember because it felt like it was so light. Remember I said that thing is rolling, but it's got a good head of steam, but it's going in the wrong direction. Holy shit, so it took third place. Are you telling me? Oh my God. Oh my God. Folks, we've got an ape sweep. We've got what looks to me here like they put 168, but this is not a 168. It's like a 138. It's very light. We got this on a roller. It took third place. Probably 350 footville, 360ville. Second place is going to go to this 168. Ape! So we've got an ape sweep. 169 ape. So the 169 ape made it in between the two of those evergreen uh, bushes. And it's made it to one, two, three, four. It's exactly at the fourth uh, post of that chain link fence. And folks, although not as high as the other... We have another embankment job, and it is, I'm sure, an ape. And it has made its way up on the embankment, but only about a meter. It's about a meter. Let me look at it and tell you what it is. It is a 168 ape, making it nearly to the tree over there. And two, let's see, one, two three four five six this is the sixth post so a little shorter than the last blast that i made 
but that was a turn and this is an ape and the apes have joined the elite club of discs that have made it onto the embankment from a very very long distance folks we're looking here that throw that went up onto this embankment is probably around 33 feet it was probably around five six feet below the other one no matter it is guaranteed way more than 400 feet now we're going to try this again on the next video because i'll do another video now thank you for being with me we have an ape sweep 168 took it 169 second ape and a this puzzling um, blue purple one which i'm going to have to weigh with my scale because it's saying something like a 138 and we're gonna have to see if that little fucker rolled because that's what it looks like to me folks have a good day boy was this fun although the wind is a constant uh pain in the butt later